eclipse ruined our home, killing Hexen and myself. Our fate now rests in the hands of a powerful witch. The arena plunges into darkness, lightning strikes and the witch appears. Cutting the witch off at the stage, the longest active wrestler in the promotion, a locker room leader, Boston fan, doesn't trust Crow or believe his intentions are in our best interests. Mike Miner moves to his friend's side with assurances, but is his word enough? Come to me. Warning. The Troll King! Expect. This video is not for minors. Who the fuck are you? This material is make-believe and has been rated M for mature. You fucking wanker! I want to beat the living fucking shit out of my dirty yoga brat motherfucker. The video game violence offends you. Please click out of this video now. I am eternity. I am forever. Older only for precaution. Thank you. Seemingly oblivious as to why Crow the Omega had called him out to the heart of the arena, Scott Casey Gale, aka Scooter St. Williams, made his way nervously into the vicinity of the awaiting witch. A victim of the deception and lies put forth by Eclipse, easily led and blindly loyal. Scott has been manipulated with promises of gold and a tournament in his name as Avido has no way of delivering. YTWEA Team Plus back in business and Crow the Omega has called out an Eclipse member in Scott Casey Gale to have a little chat. Don't know what this is, is about. What do you think Rebecca Raven? Oh, it's very exciting, but I do like Scott. I like him, he's very sweet, and I like him too, because he's got bird wings like me. If you're in Eclipse, the best advice we can give you is get the fuck out now, because you're all going to pay one way or the other. The Eclipse is a group of individuals that I trust, and that have my back, and I have their back, so I have one. What? What? No! Oh wow! Crow the Omega just hit the Omega Cutter on Scott Casey Gale in the middle of the ring. A very short conversation between the two. I hope he's not hurting. I like him. I got poo on your head. Crow the Omega looking back. I don't think he's done. Oh, what's he doing? He's oh, 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 he's got a steel chair. He's just going to town on Scott Casey's. Lifeless body in the middle of the ring. Oh, that's gonna hurt that steel chair. Just relentless. Crow the Omega sending a clear message to Eclipse. I was hoping we could handle this peacefully. Perhaps persuading some of the enemy to see a better future. Knowing how hard this would be, Crow drops the first bomb. Leaving Scott as the first casualty. A new war with Eclipse has begun. A war we must win. He wished me dead in so many ways. I wished him locked away for life in an insane asylum. He took the truth of our desires manifesting to realize how wrong we were to wish such things. I've given Crow his sanity back. Now I just have to hope he can make me live again. But this is not me bragging about what I've done. It's not me bragging about how much better I am than everyone else in this company. Because this is actually a positive one. This is actually a positive little promo. So for those who watch Halloween Havoc, I beat Satanic Christian to become the new number one contender for the YTWE Intercontinental Championship. D.H. Danielson, know this, I will beat, I will meet you for that title, I will beat you for that title, and I will take that title to a whole new level. I'm J.C. Wolf. I'm the one guy, I'll take that back, 
and you'll see why. <clears throat> I'm one of the guys that brought credibility back to J to, to YTWE 18 plus. You were a dying breed 18 YTWE. But thanks to superstars like me and other superstar I will mention. We have taken your company from there to a whole new level. That one person is why I faced uh, who's the best. Travis Parks. Now Travis Parks, I want to talk to you directly and I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for two things. Number one, I want to thank you for pushing me to a level I have never been to. Because let's be honest, our match was match of the night. Hell, it will probably be match of the year. We took that pay-per-view and took it to a whole new level. Admittedly, yes, I lost. Travis Parks wins. He is the new core legend champion. And thank you. Thank you for taking that belt from somebody who's not worth shit to somebody who can raise that belt to a whole new level. So Travis Parks, I'm going to put this out there. YTWE, I'm going to put this out there. Mr. Azevedo, you want the ratings? Listen up and listen good. How about we do this? How about me and Travis Parks do it one more time? But this time, both titles will be on the line. Sorry, when I beat D.A. Shanelson for that Intercontinental Championship, it will be me. This is Travis Parks. Champion vs. Champion. Winner takes all. Pitting two Eclipse henchmen against one another in a steel cage, Crow has set out to cause dissension and weaken the supports holding up our enemy. A brainwashed troll from deep within the dark web known only as Barry keeps his true identity concealed. The dark web can't hide him from me. I always find what I'm looking for. And the first order of business here tonight is Barry taking on Unigamer. Now Barry, as we know, is very loyal to the Eclipse family, clique, faction, whatever you want to call it. Barry has been here since day one with Eclipse by their side, fighting the calls. Now, as you know, I used to be part of Eclipse. I know all about Eclipse. But um, this should be an interesting match because the loser of this match will face Enraced XX next week. <laughs> so, for anyone thinking that, oh, you know, one of the guys is going to throw the match for the other guy to make it easier, I don't think that's the case here. I think these guys are going to go at it and hopefully have a, a competitive match here tonight. Like his Mohican, it's very green. <laughs> yes, very green, very colourful. Yes. Looking forward to this one. He forgot to shave his little moustache off. <laughs> he, left, he left a bit when he was in the bathroom. He was in a hurry, you see, so he left that a little bit. Oh, it's gone dark. Squawk. And here comes his opponents for tonight in this steel cage match. Yuna Gamer. A legit martial artist in the YTWE and Eclipse. Uh, this this man is is trained in in many different fighting styles. Koji, Koji Goji Ryu, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Jiu Jitsu, Jeet Kune, and many others. He's a black belt. Uh, this guy is legit, a very scary individual, but also calm, focused, laser focused. Look at him, he's so, just, just so focused. I like the meditation part he does, that exactly. zen, zenning out, the yin and yang, it's like my dress. The it's guy is, the guy is so calm and oh. focused and on the job at hand. So calm, he's got a bald head. I think this could go, I, I, I mean, I think Unigame has got this in the bag. I'm not sure they could, you never know, it could go either way. Because he's got the dingy zingy, and the other man's got the green, the green horns on his head. So anyone could win. Who knows? 
But hopefully they, they'll actually have a fight. I Apples mean, and pears, who knows? Apples and pears up the stairs, geese. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's pretty coat. Pretty good coat, Jackie. Pretty Jackie's got him. Nice. Yep. Very, very, very well designed. He's going to get in and zinny zinny zang 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 when he sits down. Absolutely, look straight away into a meditative stance. He's focused. A meditative pose, just sitting on the floor, just concentrating, mm. meditating, and just thinking about what he's going to do to Barry. He's focused on his go go berries and his shih tzus. Interesting. Look in. Absolutely, because then Raised XX, as we know, is YTWE through and through. Oh, straight away. These guys are going at it. And Barry's taken Unigamer down here with a spear and just punching away his head. Yeah, we nice take that out into the armbar. Beautiful transition there from Barry. Rip his arm off. He could, he could tap out of here. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a, a potential thing. But Unigamer countering out and punching away at Barry's head. Both men back to their feet. Oh, beautiful take down there from Barry. And again, straight into the armbar. Barry has got a game plan here. And it's to take away uh, Unigamer's arms. He can't zen without his arms. Wait, there's there's many things he can't do without his arms. No. Tap out. I mean, uh, the guy is basically a lethal weapon. He's trained, as I said in his entrance... In many different martial artists, the guy is a legit martial artist. He should be able to get out of that. And again, no Unigamer countering out, punching away at Barry's head. And again, both men. Are, oh, oh man, Unigamer went for that sweep, and Barry went for that kick. Unigamer caught him, spins around. Oh, spinning kick straight to the temple of Barry, and I think he's out cold. Is he dead? <laughs> Barry, uh, sorry, Unigamer. Asking for the cage door to be opened. They can't be allowed, surely. This, that's, 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 that's the rules of a steel cage match. If, Is he, it? if he, if he, <laughs> if he walks out, the match is over. Ooh. Unigamer, wow, short and sweet match here tonight for Unigamer. Ooh. But it got the job done. Short, sweet, but effective. That spinning kick to the temple was disgustingly beautiful. Just knocking out Barry Cold. What an excellent, and that's what I'm saying about Unigamer, man. He's a lethal weapon. Look at that. Oh, Ooh. just out. Just I like want to a... see some blood. <laughs> Unigamer, again, Ooh, again victorious. The guy, since he debuted in the YTWE, has been pretty much unstoppable. The guy is legit. <laughs> the second strike seems to have worked. The ego of Barry wouldn't let him take the loss to someone who is not a dedicated follower of Eclipse. Marked by Satan in a pact for his soul, Unigamer has been gifted with deadly fighting ability. Having no choice but to serve Eclipse, he will be a weapon of mass destruction. We will have a hard time disarming. Travis Sparks considers himself a man of honor, a man that many recognize and respect for his craft. That is why he stands in the middle of the YTWE 18 plus arena as legends champion 
making a challenge for other so-called legends. Travis now holds the key to both an incredible blessing and a twisted curse. Legends can exist in darkness or light. Those that know not how to wield its power correctly will suffer great losses, not just professionally, but also of the mind and soul. YTWE, look who's standing in the ring! The greatest goddamn champion you've ever seen! This is the reason they call me legend, this is the reason I'm wearing this! Because I am what I say I am and I back it up every single damn time. Whether you like it or not, you gotta admit, I'm pretty damn good. So good that you know what? I got a surprise. I'm gonna issue an open challenge right now against anyone in the back. Whether it be from YTWE, they could be from the crowd, they could be from another different show, it doesn't matter. Because I am what I say I am and I am a legend. And now I have a title, I gotta defend it, and I got a name I have to honor. I am considered the best, and I'm gonna show you all that I am the best. So anyone in the back, the front, the side, the back door, it don't matter. If you think you can have a five star match with me, well you know what? I'm gonna give you four stars instead. I'm gonna put on a four star performance. And if you're able to beat me, oh boy. I'm gonna really, uh, I'm really, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. If you're able to beat me, I will retire from YTWE. I will leave, and I'll shake your hand for beating a man as great as me. But that's if you win. If you don't win, well, fans, you're gonna be dealing with me for a long ass time because I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. So, anyone in the back? Let's let's do this right now. Let's go. Show me what you got. Well, there you have it, Travis Sparks laying down an open challenge to anyone who they who anyone considers a, a legend and who's that who's that behind the smoke still can't quite tell oh wait a minute if jc wolf answered the call but Hulse has attacked him from behind that big slam on that hardwood floor I am horse! Go on, horse! Kill him! Kill them all! <laughs> Don't like Travis Spock, so horse can kill him. Sit on him! Kill him! I think I would have preferred a rematch between JC Wolf and Travis Sparks, but horse is the first one to make contact with Travis Sparks. He's got him. Oh, he had him hooked for some sort of move there, some sort of suplex, but Travis Sparks knew it and punched his way out. Hulse! Ooh. Not happy about that! Raging out. Oh! Big massive clothesline! It looks like he's got a bug vest on! It's like a security waistcoat. That's basically what it is. Oh, Hulse just grabbing Travis Sparks, throwing him about like he's nothing. Big massive power slam on the outside. Throwing him around like a rag doll. JC Wolf. Jason Wolf's getting back up. You better watch yourself. Hulse walking away. I don't quite understand why. Maybe it's to keep... Jo oh, that's why. Yes, of course, to keep JC Wolf grounded on, on the floor. He looks a lot like AJ Styles. I've got to say that because it's right in front of me. He does, actually, doesn't he? Did that Eclipse have every understanding of what the Legends title can bring to the holder. This attack by Hulse wasn't just retaliation for Scott. A much more sinister warning lay masked beneath the carnage. It feels like, but it can't be. At who's the best, I battled his soul possessed by eternity, while William Bringer killed his mortal vessel. I am connected to the living, crow to the dead, so how would we not know of his presence? I've seen every possible future. He is in none of them. Earlier today, at the market in town, my sisters attacked Brooke and Tinkerbell. Cat and Cam are ruthless, just like my Nana D. I have no doubt it's her that orchestrated this. Brooke and Tinker are in trouble. My family 
need the gold to run the city. They always get what they need. It's the DeVito way. So many false statements. I don't even know where the fuck to begin. I guess I'm going to start off with a Boston fan. Boston fan, you already know what the deal is. No fucking rules. I'll see you there, and I'll see you finished, and you go back to the end of the fucking line. As for Crow, <laughs> this fucking guy, I got a chuckle out of you. I really do. Like, you, you entertain me for all the wrong reasons, and what I mean by that is this. You like to throw little, you know, shots. You're, you you kind of like to shoot when you're talking your shit, right? It's a good thing that I know how to dodge some fucking bullets, for lack of a better term. But um, I, I feel the need that I, I, I just have to fucking enlighten you on a few things because things have fucking changed here in the YTWE18 Plus since you decided to uh, travel to the, the Pleiades fucking star cluster and participate in a fucking cosmic circle jerk. <laughs> There's a lot of things that have changed. You've made a lot of false statements about me. Things that uh, I'm going to enlighten you on right now. But I will give you credit where credit is due. You did make a couple of fucking statements that are true. Or have some validity to them somewhat. Alright? So allow me to enlighten you. The first thing you got right. Number one. Yes! I am willing to bet that I have the biggest dick in the YTWE 18+. plus. I'm willing to bet that. I don't know if it's true, because I don't make it a habit to look at other men's penises while we're in the locker room changing. You, it might be up your alley. It's not up mine. I don't know, but I'm willing to put my money on myself 10 times out of fucking 10. I'm thinking maybe Enraged XX or uh, McFucker might got me beat in that category, but I don't know. I wouldn't know. Maybe you know more than I do. I don't, I'm just, I'll don't. i just leave it at that. All right? So that's the one thing. I'll get to the second thing later on. I want to point out the things that you got wrong. Your perception of who the fuck I am and what my, my goals are and my integrity. You put my integrity into question, Crow. You put my integrity into question. Big fucking mistake. I'm Mr. D's chosen one. I'm his champion. And for good reason. Mi familia. You're supposed to know all about that, right? I don't think you do. Because you fucked up a lot of shit. You said to me. To me. You said. That Mr. Azevedo. Is, is my best friend? <laughs> is that a fucking joke? Are you, are you trying to get a tickle out of me? You trying to fucking make me laugh? Because you succeeded. If that was your goal, you succeeded. You put a smile on my fucking face. Because nothing could be further from the fucking truth, my friend. And I use that term loosely. Nothing could be further from the truth. I despise Mr. Azevedo. Mr. Azevedo, as an owner, is the reason why I left AWA, you fucking moron. That's just one of your mistakes. The second mistake was saying, basically questioning my integrity, saying that I was just going to sit back and let the YTWE 18 plus burn while Boston fan was in the hell in the cell against Azevedo. Motherfucker, do you know who you're talking to? Do you know who you're addressing? I am the leader of the world is ours. Who in the fuck do you think gave the green light for McFucker and Enraged XX to go down there when Boston fan was getting his ass kicked, unjustifiably so, by... What the fuck? Is, I don't even know what he calls himself now. Is, am I supposed to call him Unigamer? Is it the uh, fucking Satanic Christian? I hate calling him that. I just got to put that out there. That's, change your fucking name, asshole. And I'm going to be seeing you soon, too. 
And the champ is busy. As you can see, I get notifications all the fucking time because the champ is the champ. Not a fucking chump, prick. And there's a very easy way to find out if I'm chump or fucking champ. And I've been calling you out for months. So, very easy. Very easy to figure it out, man. Very easy. Hit me at, man, and we'll fucking make it happen. But anyway, where was I? So, yeah. Who in the fuck you think gave the green light to even the odds to help save YTW18+. plus? Yes, that was me. You fucking moron. You imbecile. You need to get your facts straight before you start talking shit. That's the best advice I could give to you at this moment in time. But I will say that this is, and this leads into the second thing. The second thing that you got right. You are correct. In order to take the head off Eclipse, oh, and by the way, by the way, who do you think was bringing the fight to the Eclipse while you were off on, you know, your cosmic circle jerk? That would be me, the YTWE World Heavyweight Champion. And even before I was the World Heavyweight Champion, I was bringing the fight to Eclipse. I fucking rallied the troops. At one point, I actually saved the world with a little bit of help, but I saved the fucking world. Apparently, you're not, a, you know, you, you don't know about any of this. <laughs> I've been here putting in work, and you better fucking take notice. But you did get it right. We do need to unite and finish off Eclipse. And I intend on doing that. I plan on landing the finishing blow to Eclipse. It's been that way since day one. Eclipse has sent their fucking best at me, and each one of them has fallen. Dark Horse has fallen. Robert Rage has fallen. Pat has fallen. They've all fallen at the feet of the champ, not chump. I'm gonna remind you, champ, not fucking chump. And you're gonna find out real soon, because once Eclipse is out of the picture, I'm going to put my fist through your fucking face. I'm going to lift you up into the goddamn air. I'm going to drive you on top of your head and break your fucking neck and cave your fucking skull in, Crow the Omega. That's my plan. But for now, for now, I'm going to play nice. And Eclipse, Eclipse. I haven't forgot about you motherfuckers. You fucking people think that you're the cream of the crop. You're the best conglomeration of talent that's here in the YTW18+. Well, I got news for you. You're not. I want you to listen to this and take it to heart. The world is ours. The world is ours and everything in it, including you. Asian Tinkerbell was taken to hospital after the attack in the market, leaving Brooke without backup in her match tonight. With Pat trapped in the psycho realm, Brooke turns to family. I still find some things are stranger than fiction, that despite my knowledge of alternate dimensions and infinite possibilities, I still can't believe JC Wolf's girlfriend is real. And our second match for tonight is Mercedes versus Babylon Brook. Look at her pink panties and her hot pants. They're very nice, aren't they? Her Barbie doll hair. Now, here they're coming out. Now, Babylon Brook, sadly, she got hurt with Tinkerbell. And uh, she's bringing her son out instead because Cat and Cameo, they beat them up, the bastard. And Tinkerbell was really hurt. So, baby face man body is her silly son's name. Hello, Badly Brook. Love you, really. <laughs> With Mercedes, we thought she was an imaginary prostitute, but it turns out she's actually real. Yes, it's been up in the air for months whether Mercedes was actually just the made-up character by JC Wolf, whether she was a prostitute, whether she was just an actress that he paid for. But here she is in the flesh to compete against a former women's champion in Babylon Brook. Good luck, Mercedes. Yeah. 
Both ladies locking up here. Nice clean start to this match. Babylon Brook though taking advantage of that chop wrist lock and just shoving that elbow into into Mercedes shoulder there. Nicely done. And Babylon Brook wrenching away still here. She still looks a bit like a prostitute. <laughs> she does. Mercedes though, nice counter out to that chop wrist lock. But Babylon Brook not standing it too long. Nice counter there to the hammer lock, into the side headlock, wrenching away at Mercedes head. Bah! Bash the elbow to the back of the head. And look at Babyface Man Body cheering away for his mum. Rip her head off! Nice duck down there, Babbling Brook. Oh, look at that, the head scissors into the DDT, tilt to well style, beautifully done by Mercedes. One, two, th oh, that was extremely close. I'm Very glad. early on this match, a big move. I'm glad though, because I think Babbling Brook should win. Well, it, it could go either way. Oh, nice, nice beautiful counter there from Babbling Brook. I dropped toe hold, and Babbling Brook. Look at that beautiful submission there. She looks like a crab. <laughs> a Barbie doll crab. Oh, Grab her, brick. Pumping her away. <laughs> pump, pump, pump away. <laughs> oh, nice counter there from Mercedes. Ooh, Both ladies back up. Whoa, kick him in the face. Bit of a standoff here. <laughs> but they both lock up again, though. Fairly clean start to this match. Mercedes overpowering Bradley Brook onto the ropes. Oh, get out the way. Is it gonna be? Oh, I was going to say, is it going to be a clean break? But no, Mercedes taking the cheap shot on Bradley Brook there. And again. again, oh, they both lock oh. up again. Still fairly clean. Bradley Brook keeping her composure here behind Mercedes now. Bit of a wrench there. Is she going to take her down? Oh, oh. no, Mercedes. Didn't see that coming. She's surprising me, really. I, I didn't know. expect this out of Mercedes. Doing a bit of a headlock round her neck, hasn't she? Refresh chin lock, absolutely. Bit of a cheeky punch there. I like her son's t shirt. <laughs> Very nice. Guns and Roses, one of the greatest bands of all time, no doubt about that. Beautiful Ooh. arm drag there, straight into the headlock by Babylon Brook. The more experienced wrestler of the two, without a doubt. She's putting up a good fight, Mercedes, though, isn't she? She is absolutely more than I expected her to. Bradley, Bradley Brook just keeping Mercedes grounded here yeah. with, this, with this side headlock. Uh, all her weight was Ooh. on Mercedes, but Mercedes is back up with oh. a side headlock of her own. Nice oh. take down there from Bradley Brook, overpowering Mercedes. And again, both ladies. Nice little lock up there, but Babylon Brook just pushes her away. And Babylon Brook just grabs Ooh. Mercedes into the top. So Brook, oh, what a counter into the small package. Ooh. This could be it. One, One. two. Oh, oh, again. Oh, Mercedes good. with another close pin. Oh, nice. Got again. Nice victory roll. One, One. two, Ooh. three. Oh. Bloody hell, man. That's, that's three times Mercedes has almost beat Ooh. a former ladies champion in Babylon Brook. Babbly Brook with a uh, kick to the midsection there. Oh, takes oh. it down. I think I think oh. Babbly Brook has had enough of Mercedes. She's got her arm. She's got the arm, but I looked in. Is Mercedes going to tap out? Most of them do. Most ladies can't take this amount of power. She's tapping out. It's all over. Oh. Babbly Brook won. Yes, oh, absolutely. Good girl. Yay. Nice little match there. She got a good fight. She did. Uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, Mercedes surprisingly done well I mean um, Babylon Brook might have been taken easy on her I don't know um, Did uh, hair's ring? <laughs> probably not <laughs> just a plastic Barbie doll yeah like a blow up Barbie doll <laughs> yeah. with a little hole where you put your penis <laughs> look she's got her on the floor there Absolutely. I, like I said, Mercedes almost beat Babylon Brook three times in this match, which is... I mean, she didn't get the the, 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 the W, but she done well. It's, it's a good good debut by Mercedes, absolutely. Yay. And no doubt, Babylon Brook's son will look on with pride and admiration for his mother here tonight.
beating Mercedes clean, no cheating. That's the way it should be. Well done, Babbling Brook. She did very well. Our second match is in the, is in the bag. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, what they're going to do. Victor's going to beat you up again. The two bitches that attacked Brooke and Tinkerbell bitches. earlier tonight. Tinkerbell obviously couldn't be by Babbling Brook's side because she was injured. They're evil bitches, aren't they? Absolutely. Just be nice to one another. Oh, he's getting a bit angry, isn't he? If it wasn't enough that Cat and Cam had left Tinkerbell injured and unable to compete, they were now rubbing salt in the wounds while Brooke celebrated her victory over Mercedes with her son by her side. I know my sisters wouldn't hurt the kid, but if they can use intimidation to get the gold back, they will. Pat can't protect them, not from the psycho realm. Tink needs time to recover, but until she comes back, Nana D and my sisters will make Brooke's life a nightmare. YTWE 18 plus. Finally, the puzzle pieces are finally starting to come together. And I want you all to know that the picture could not be any more crystal clear than what it is right now. And what it is, is it is telling us that we have a very, very valuable ally on our side. He is me familia. He is Crow V Omega. YT W E 18 plus. Last night, I received a message of good news from our father above. And that message was a mission. And as of right now, we have the strategy in place. And this mission is going to require surgery. The surgery to remove, finally, once and for all, the cancer that has been plaguing and infecting the YTWE 18 plus for the past few years. That's right. We are performing surgery to finally remove the eclipse from existence. And this week, ladies and gentlemen of the YTWE 18 plus, it starts at the head. The head being Mr. Azevedo. This week, Mr. Azevedo runs the gauntlet. And I am the number one choice to cut the head off. And Michael Miner, Michael Miner is going to be the one who takes it out completely. <laughs> YTWE 18 plus we'll see you in the ring <laughs> oh this is good news it is very good news <laughs> Eclipse what you gonna do about it whoop whoop bitch with only Mike Miner's word to go on the lack of trust Boston fan and many of the rust I have towards Crow will have to be met with faith the true enemy, Eclipse, must be stopped once and for all. Without Crow, this is something we cannot do. Unsure of what really happened to him at Anarchy, confused by the light in the missing minute that saved him from the flames of the underworld, Boston Fan feels a presence, a presence deep down he believes is me. Time for Azevedo to face the gauntlet. Boston fan out first. This is our main event here tonight, people. Mr. Azevedo is being punished because a year ago today, he shut down the YTWE 18+. Plus. 
Now there's a gauntlet match with a difference, because Adam Zavido, he's got to fight Boston Fan and Mike Meyer, and if he loses both of the matches, he's got to fight three members of World Is Out in a handicap match next week. The World Is Out, absolutely. Mike Meyer, just, we, we, we kind of missed that, but Mike Miner cut Boston Fan off there. Boston Fan was supposed to come out first. Mike Miner said that he wants Mr. Razzavido first, and as we know, he is part of the Misfits with Crody Omega. I'm not surprised he wants to come out first. I mean, Azevedo, I mean, he made it hell for both of them, didn't he? And Azevedo okay. straight away playing the coward, playing the heel, running away from Mike Miner, running straight, straight towards Boston Fan, and Azevedo knows it. And turns around to face Mike Miner, spins him around. Oh, into the barricade there. Big punch. Oh, big forearm, sorry. Straight to the back, clubbing away. Mr. Azevedo fighting back. Oh, punch into the gut. Back and forth here by these two men. Obviously, Mr. Azevedo, not really a trained professional wrestler like Mike Miner. And Boston fan, a big knee to the face of Mr. Azevedo from Mike Miner. Vicious. Vicious. If he makes him bleed, they'll go all red on his white shirt. Absolutely, it Make will. Make him bleed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of Mr. Azevedo no. shutting down what we do for a year, the motherfucking bastard. Only I wear the bird bee, Keith. <laughs> Why does he wear that bandana on his face? To cover up his snows of his farts. <laughs> oh, I think it's to cover up the scars on his face. Mike Miner, one. Man. Two! Oh, that was close. That was surprisingly close early on in this match. Mike Miner almost dispatching of Mr. Azevedo. And now Mike Miner again vicious, just forcing his, his foot into Mr. Azevedo's gut. And another knee oh. to the face! Oh, he's going to hit him in the head. Hurt that, Absolutely, it? Mike Miner. He's got his legs round him now. Knows how to hurt his opponent. Here he is stretching out that body and the arm shoulder of Mr. Azevedo, wrenching away. He's got to tap out. Can he reach the ropes? He could potentially tap out, who knows? Yeah. Who's your pick in this one, Rebecca Raven? Well, I think Scar should win because I don't think it was very fair that he tried to wear a bird beaky on his face. <laughs> Where are birds? Beaches with pride, because we're the birds. Yeah. Absolutely. Bleed on his white shirt, and and he looks like a humber. <laughs> Mike Miner. He's not letting go, is he? He kept that submission on for a long time there. He could Ooh. have done some a lot of damage, but oh. Azevedo countering out with a hip toss, taking Mike Miner over, that and you saw Azevedo favouring that arm. Oh, that was a good toss. Absolutely, Mike Miner. <laughs> taking down Mr. Azevedo with another knee to the face and just a straight oh. punch to the face he could have potentially knocked him out there got hard head he didn't knock him out but Azevedo's back on his feet into that corner oh, punch him in the and Mike again. Miner again just punishing Mr. Azevedo Ash whip into the other corner the far left corner running in oh, oh. Azevedo moved out of the way punch kick forearms to the back and a double oh. sled to the back, straight into the middle of the spine of Mike Miner. And again, straight into the middle of the back of Mike Miner. Mr. Razzavedo, I was going to say, currently in control, but Mike Miner countered with the arm drag. He's putting up a good fight, isn't he? Absolutely, for someone that isn't properly trained as a professional oh, wrestler. Oh, both arms, got both arms, wrenching Absolutely, away. That, that, the camel clutch, a classic old submission move there. Didn't hold it in for long. I think it's because Azevedo was near the ropes, pounding Azevedo's head into the floor. Oh, and again, again, Mike Miner is a vicious son of a bitch. He means business, doesn't he? Absolutely, yeah, Mike Miner's is no oh, nonsense. He's going to fly off, he's going to fly off the ropes, isn't he? Oh, just crashing down. I mean, Mike Miner's probably 250, 270 wow. at least. Two. Oh, another close pinfall there. It was, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Miner looks like it's a bit, looks like he's in control of this match so far. But Mr. Oh, Mr. Azevedo just slapped Mike Miner in the face and a low blow. He just he just 
Oh, yep, yeah, another shot. Oh, he ripped his boobies off. And the referee is, is, is trying to maybe bribe the referee or threaten him with his job because as a bit of as full control. That was a dirty move. Uh, uh, I mean, he probably just bribed the referee or, or said, if you DQ me, you know, you, you, your job is fucked, basically. Oh, oh, he just turned this into a no DQ match. I'm not sure the rules have kind of gone out the window in this one. What's he playing at? Huge body slam on Mike Miner. A bit of a desperation cover here, but he could get it. Two. Oh. Desperation pin there. Anything can happen in this match, PayPal. Oh, my. Dirty knee straight to the face of Mike Miner. Oh, he's standing oh, this. Oh! Filthy bastard! That hurt me I mean, both of these guys are, are as bad as each other. They're both bad guys, really, in this one. Oh, man, look at that. Tr out I think he's trying to rip that mask off. He's oh. wrenching away at Mike Miner's face and mask. Leave the poor man alone. Mike Miner going to work on Mr. Rezavido's leg here. Oh, he's got him hooked. Got him up, got him hooked for a suplex and takes him over. Beautifully done by Mike Miner. He's done his back in there, didn't he? Absolutely, oh, going go. for the cover. One, One two. two. Oh. Another close fall there. But Mr. Rezavido fighting his way out of it. Still in this match. He's got some balls. I mean, he's coming here, he's got a fight in and fight Austin fan. He's going to have no energy left at the end of this. Well, I mean, if he loses uh, either oh, match or both he's matches... He's standing on his fingers. He's going to have to f face three men from the world is ours. I don't like his chances. I do like him. I even stood on his fingers. It hurts, doesn't it? And he's Mr. Razavido is has clearly had enough. Backing away, begging Mike Commander to stop. But Mr. Razavido. It's got the steel chair in his hand. And Mike Miner's just staring him down. Trust him. Bit of a standoff here between these two men. That chair. Shove it up his <laughs> the cactus. I'm not sure. I, Mike Miner's playing smart here. Not running to get hit by the chair. Just waiting patiently me. for Mr. Vazarino to get back in the ring. You see the tall come and get me, you saying. He's back. He's back in there. Mike Miner doesn't seem intimidated. He doesn't at all. Doesn't seem oh! Intimidated. Oh, he countered. Mike Miner just just lured Mr. Azevedo in there. And there's that pump handle suplex onto the knee. Going for the cover. One. Man. Two. Oh, man. Again, another close pinfall. This is going to be a close call. I think both men are doing a really good job, aren't they? Kicking the shit out of one another. <laughs> Absolutely, so far so good in this one. But I mean, Mr. Azevedo has got to get past Mike Miner and then face Boston fan. And Mike Miner alone is a challenge in itself. Oh, oh, he's on top of the ropes now. Push him off. Mike Miner has got him up. He's got Mr. Azevedo up on his shoulders. He's got him down now. Oh, onto the steel chair. That rolling Samoan drop. One, two, surely. Oh, wow, he kicked out. Unbelievable. I can't believe the amount of endurance that Mr. Azevedo has actually got. It surprises me every single time he's out there. He absolutely. He might use it. He doesn't really need to use it, but he might use it. Oh, is that Boston fan in the background? Oh, he's saying finish it. He's saying put Mr. Azevedo down. And uh, tell him to use the chair. Boston fan is encouraging Mike Miner to use the steel chair. That's very uncharacteristic of Boston fan. And he does straight to the back of the head of Mr. Azevedo. Looking out. Oh, and again. And he hit his face on the ropes as he fell down. Oh, no, referee's called for the DQ. And rightly so. This is a no This was just a straightforward singles match. Absolutely, Mike Miner stomping away, and Boston fan looks to be walking down to the ring here, because obviously, Boston <laughs> obviously Boston fan and Mr. Red Azevedo is up next. But Mike Miner's not done with Mr. Azevedo, choking away 
trying to trying to squeeze the life out of Mr. Azevedo and Buster Fan slowly, methodically making his way to the ring. No rush. I like Boston Fan. Yeah, me both. Yeah, absolutely. Boston Fan, uh, one of the one of the legends, a, a true legend in the YTWE. Tell him to think about what he's doing now. Hold close and think. Maybe telling him to calm down and say, let me handle this. I've got it. You've done your job. Let me take over and finish him off. Straight to that set corner. Boston fan. Oh, and a huge body slam again. That's the second time that Mr. Azevedo has landed on that steel chair. And Boston fan. Oh, the elbow straight into the midsection. Quite low there as well. One, two. Oh, man. Internal injuries. Absolutely. All the elbows to the gap. Super kick! Super kick out of nowhere! Mr. Mr. Azevedo could be unconscious. One, two, th oh no, Boston fan! What are you doing? What are you doing? You're playing with my emotions and a lot of other people's emotions here. Just pin the man, get it done. Just kill him already. Get him down. It's understandable why. Boston fan wants to punish Mr. Azevedo. Mr. Azevedo has been a massive thorn in Boston fan's side for months now. He's around trying to get out, he? I think Boston fan is just punishing Mr. Azevedo here. Got that submission on, just wrenching away. Could potentially be trying to break his neck, who knows? Look at that, that's a dirty submission. The referee trying to intervene, I think. But Azevedo is not giving up. He's not tapping out. Mr. Azevedo is still in this match. Unbelievably. I, I, I can't believe it. But he's still in this match. Oh, look at that. Mr. Azevedo with some offense. Making a comeback here with a clothesline over the top rope. Right over the top. Oh, Mr. Azevedo. I'm, I've, got to, I've got to say it, man. You are, you are impressing me every single time you, you fight, wrestle, whatever you want to call it. You do you impress me. Oh, oh, just a punch to the temple. That's a dirty move. A dangerous move. Mr. Azevedo has made a comeback here. Fully in control at the moment of Boston fan. He's got his energy back. And now choking away on Boston fan. And that will wear the man down, absolutely. Head. Oh, he's got to do some damage, Boston do, fan. He's going to put him on the stairs, isn't he? Let yes, he stairs, is, absolutely. This is what Mr. Azevedo has to do. The referee is kind of letting things slide a little bit in this one, but technically, neither man has broken any rules yet. But Mr. Oh, Azevedo has he's got gonna, those steel steps. He's going to whack him with the stairs, isn't he? But I mean, if he gets DQ'd, he's got to face three members of the world is ours. I mean, oh, he's got him up. Oh, he's going for a power bomb, but his back gave out on him. No <laughs> doubt after that Samoan, that 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 Samoan drop thing, and the body slam onto the steel chair done enough damage. But look at Mr. Eyes of it, unbelievable. He's still got the power in him. I mean, that 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 potentially could have ended the match. There, that power drop on the outside or power bomb, whatever Boston fan was going for. That could have potentially... Oh! Massive suplex on the outside. Hardwood floor. There's no give in that floor. That is basically like landing on concrete. Yes. Oh, I've been on there and it blooming well hurts. Complete brain smash. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Azevedo playing dirty here Got with it. a wreck to the face. Yeah. The face. That was too hurt. Oh. oh. Look at the crowd go wild as well. They love it as do I. This is incredible stuff. Incredible main event here tonight. Look, he's golden in. He's golden in. Will we see. See who's going to win because it's going to be an, an oh, fight. Boston fan went for the super kick. But Mr. Azevedo managed to counter it. Mr. Azevedo. Oh, he's up. Oh, he was going for the pedigree oh. or target bomb or something. But Boston fan counters. Oh, the back of his head just hit him. Still steps on the way down. Holy fucking shit balls. <laughs> Do one. Yeah, I know. I've not heard that before. <laughs> Boston fan looks to, again to have taken control of this match. He's got him by the hair. He's going to shove him through the ropes. Yep, he's going to shove him through the ropes. 
Post the through like a letter. Big oh, elbow, straight elbow to, the, to the head. I think that was more in the chin or throat of, of Mr. Azevedo, but either way, it's still a vicious move. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? It is. Right. What's done? Well, he, he got DQ'd, so he's gone to the back. Ow. Boston fan told him, I've got this. You don't need to do any more. Think about what you're doing. The Boston fan finishing up. Absolutely. Ah, oh, Dragon Screw. Beautifully done. Taking down. Mr. Azevedo and following up with that leg snap. I think he got his leg. Slide him across. Oh, in the ghoulies. <laughs> gonna pick the chair up now. He's not going to pick the chair up. Oh, bashing his knee on the floor there. Twisting his legs. Just flipped him over. Well, Boston fan doesn't want to lose this match. Boston fan wants to win and see Mr. Azevedo face three members of the World is As next week. That's That'd be that would be a true punishment. I mean, yeah. it, this wasn't enough. He's rolling around in agony there, isn't he? But he won't give up. Oh, he reached the ropes. He's crawling through the ropes. He's trying, isn't he? Fighting to stay alive. Fight for the bitter end. Absolutely. Mr. Azevedo, nice take down there, punching away at Boston fan, trying to do some just to keep Boston fan down. Boston fan, though, smart, veteran move, rolling to the outside. It'll take a lot to get Boston fan down. Oh, oh nice move there from Mr. Azevedo, but nice move there. Rolling up Mr. Azevedo, one, two. Oh, man. Just when you think the match is over, it keeps going. Didn't it? Absolutely. Even us in the box, we're very young old times. Like Boston fan was going for a dragon sleeper, dragon oh. sleeper suplex of some kind, but Mr. Azevedo managed to counter it. Chair. Oh, he's got him hooked. Oh, the phone lost the slam straight to the steel chair. One, two, unbelievable. Unfucking believable. I cannot believe. That Mr. Azevedo just beat Boston fan. That is incredible. That the fact that he just beat Boston fan, a former IC champion, a former world heavyweight champion, a legend of the YTWE 18 plus, one of the very best of all time. He just beat him. I wasn't expecting that. You and me both. To, to beat both men. I wasn't and, expecting that. And, and and Mike Miner done a lot of damage to Mr. Azevedo he did. before. Boston fan came out. I mean, look at this move right here. That Samoan drop, whatever you want to call it, the rolling Samoan drop, as I called it, done the damage to Mr. Azevedo's back, but he's still, and, and those still chair shots. He took so much damage in this match. It's incredible. How is that man still standing? I don't know. I, maybe there's something we don't know about Mr. Azevedo. Uh, maybe he has trained more as a professional wrestler or as a fighter. Who knows? The willpower to stay alive. Absolutely, yeah. Well, oh yeah, I remember that. He fell out and hurt his head. Well, well and truly. On the steel chairs and the, and the stairs. Yep, yeah, well, well and truly back in business in the YTWE 18+. Plus. Fuck you, Mr. Azevedo. Fuck you for winning this match. Fuck you for overcoming the odds. I'll stick my bird beak up your back thigh. Tell you one thing, we need Mr. Day back. That's what we need. Yes. Because oh, ever since Mr. Azevedo has taken over, it's just basically fucked. Boston fan looked shocked, wondering how the hell Azevedo survived the gauntlet. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Although unseen to Joe, Rebecca, and everybody in attendance, Boston fans' eyes did not deceive him. For in place of Mr. Azevedo stood the demon Hexen, delivering a message that sent a chill to his very core. In a moment measured only by the smallest passing of entropy, as D.H. Danielson crushed my skull, killing me at who's the best, Hexen took my mantle as overseer of the underworld, reuniting the demon's soul with his mortal vessel, Mr. Azevedo.
After his public appearance, the champ is confronted by a crow looking to reason with him. This was never going to go well. Excuse me for a moment. Oh shit, I've been seen. And now Crow is not the only one that knows Will's secret. Watching from the shadows. Psycho Rick, the dark half of your boy Pat, overheard at every word William Bringer wouldn't want anybody to hear. Connected to the supernatural as guardian of the psycho realm, Rick sees what Crow can see. That's me, and that's not good. The world is ours, for they were doing the world a favour at Anarchy, when Jason leaping from the rafters crushed Rick. That just pissed him off enough to look the better half of his psychological split pat in the psycho realm. Now Rick is powered by the evil of eternity and backed by Eclipse. We're fucked.